Also new this morning, encounters with bears are up at Yosemite National Park. Park rangers have recorded 16 incidents involving bears so far this year, compared to 38 for all of last year. Now, most of the recent encounters took place in the wilderness areas of the park, and as a result, a trail has been closed to overnight camping. Park rangers say 2016 was a record low year for bear encounters, and incidents involving bears in the park are now down 96% from a record high nearly 20 years ago. Turning now to the forecast on this 4th of July holiday, we're, we're yeah, get, get in the triple digits. I'm not super excited about it. Yeah. So. <laughs> but many people might be heading up to the mountains, to Yosemite or, or some of the lakes. Let's turn things over to Ruben, who's tracking our weather today. Hey, Ruben. Think of it this way, Vanessa. Those bears, they have all that fur. How do they feel with the heat? Think about that. See? Oh, oh, sorry to the bears. See? Sorry yeah. to the <laughs> That's why that bear was swimming right there. He's trying to cool off. So it is hot because of this surge of high pressure building over us, and that's going to be the case here for a while. And when we get high pressure over us, we get that inversion layer trapping pollutants and a little bit of smoke from that wildfire towards Mariposa. So if you're in that area, even the one towards Kalinga, there's a little bit of smoke and haze out there in the valley. And you can see that here on our Valley Children's Hospital Sky Cam. We're in Madera County, but we're looking south towards 41 at the San Joaquin River and Woodward Park off in northeast Fresno, where it is 69 degrees this morning. Winds are fairly calm, picking up a little bit out of the northwest, about three miles. South Valley, 65 in Visalia, 63 in Merced, and 63 in Lemoore this morning. And we're a little bit warmer in some valley spots. Others a little bit cooler, but this afternoon we will be warmer valley-wide. Winds are fairly light. We will get a bit of a breeze this evening from the northwest, about 10 to 15 miles an hour towards sunset for uh, you people heading out to those fireworks celebrations about 9 o'clock or so. It's going to be pleasant. A little warm, but not too bad. Moderate to unhealthy sensitive air quality for the valley today and our high of 103 on this Independence Day, above the average of 97, but we're well below the record of 112. And it's going to be hazy this afternoon and hot winds will be light. But again, that breeze picks up later on uh, this evening. Temperatures in the Sierra today. Nice day up there if you are going up to Yosemite Valley. A little warm, 91, but plenty of sunshine. 83 at Huntington Lake, 86 at Shaver Lake and Bass Lake at 92 this afternoon. But oh, communities, plenty of sunshine, a little bit hazy. And of course, if you're towards Mariposa, there might be a little bit of smoke. Uh, temperatures for most areas will be in the 90s. And our high of 103 in Kalinga, a little hot. Same deal for Porterville, 102 in Madeira. We might see a little bit of cloud cover tomorrow from some monsoon moisture, producing a few showers and thunderstorms in the Sierra. But overall, we're going to stay in the triple digits here for a while. And it looks like the hottest day of the week will be on Sunday with a temperature of 105 degrees. Hot for this time of year, but we'll well below records for now here in Central California. Tony and Vanessa, back to you. Well, I will be by the pool.